Okay, baby, let's wrap up the lesson. So today, we are really talking about doing a shift or moving our graph. So yesterday, we talked about graphing a sine, a sine and a cosine curve. Um, and then what we're going to do today is actually move them. We did an amplitude shift. We did a period change yesterday, but today we're going to actually move them, okay? So if I use this general formula, y equals a, trig means sine or cosine, b, b is a frequency, x minus h. Now h is the horizontal shift, always minus because the opposite direction, plus k, up or down, okay? So we know that a is the, is the amplitude. It's how tall it is. One way to find it, if you can't figure it out, is the maximum of the graph minus the minimum divided by 2. B is a frequency. How many curves do you have? One way to find B is to take 2 pi, always 2 pi, divided by the width of the curve, and I'll give you the B. Or vice versa, if you want to find B, it's 2 pi, or if you want to find the width of the curve, it's 2 pi divided by B, okay? The horizontal shift is inside the parentheses, it's always the opposite direction, and the vertical shift is either up or down, um, and that's the number on the end, okay? So we took a look at this first example. Um, first of all, a sine curve looks like this, and so I need to take a sine curve. I knew I had to take it to an amplitude of 3 down to negative 3, okay? I need, need two curves within one, so I put one curve, two curves. You get two curves, each curve has to be a, a width of pi, and then I shifted it. So when I made my axes, I went pi halves, pi, 3 pi halves, 2 pi, and then I went by, in a sense, pi eighths. I had an amplitude of 3, so I went by 1. So when I shift it, on the inside, I'm going to shift right, pi 8. Well, that's 1 square in my graph, and then down 2. So I took every important point, I shifted over pi 8, down 1. 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 All the way through, over pi 8, down 1. And then I re-graphed my curve, okay? The period of this is obviously pi because the width is from 0 to pi is the period of 1, okay? Now, the second one, we did a cosine. Again, a cosine curve looks like this. We took a general cosine curve. We did a cosine curve in here. And now, the, the width of the curve, we need to know how wide it is, is 2 pi always divided by b. Well, b turns out to be pi force. What? That's kind of weird. So I did that, okay? 2 pi divided by pi force, inverted multiply, Turns out to be 8, not 8 pi, but 8. So I went by 1s. So I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we do this in case we're talking about things like time. Oops, sorry about that. Um, here's my work. So 2 pi divided by b, pi force, inverted multiply, and I got 8, okay? So then I might do my axes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I drew a cosine curve in from 2 to negative 2 because that's my amplitude. Then I did a shift, okay? So I'm going to shift over 1 to the left, that's back 1, and then down 3. Every important point then went to the left 1, and then down 3. Left 1, down 3. So I took the whole curve, back 1, down 3, okay? All right. On the back side, we actually took a look at how do we make equations. So we took a look at this graph. So what is it? Well, it could either be a sine or a cosine. And we said, well, let's let it be a sine curve that has been bumped over. It's been shifted. So, okay, we start with sine. We noticed the amplitude was 3 to negative 3. Um, the, the frequency, we always take 2 pi, divide, always 2 pi divided by the width. So we realized the width was a pi. So we went 2 pi divided by 2. So the frequency is 2. So the 2 goes here for the frequency. And then it did get shifted over. In fact, it got shifted over pi 6. So it's a minus pi 6 because six it's the opposite of the inside. Okay. Um, our third graph. We decided to call it a cosine because it has more of this shape. Um, and we decided to start from here to here. So we said it was a cosine. The amplitude looks like it's 1, 1. But if we couldn't figure out what the 1 is, here's our max, 3. Minus our min, 1. Divided by 2 gives me 1. So the amplitude is 1. Now the width of this curve is, well, let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the B, or the frequency, is 2 pi divided by the width. Well, the width is 6. We reduced it, and b then is pi thirds. Put pi thirds there. Um, the graph did get shifted forward or to the right one, and then the whole curve got shifted up two. Okay, and that's all I have. So if you have any questions, come see me.